Hello, my name is Mike Rayner and I'm from eWrench.com. This demonstration about installing an ATX power supply unit into an empty computer case. The outcome for this video would be to install an ATX 500 watt power supply unit into the empty case. This video demonstrates a Corsair CXX power supply unit installed into a Corsair C70 case. Other computer manufacturers may follow a different set of installation instructions. Requirements uh, would be a computer case that accepts ATX motherboard and ATX power supply unit, an ATX power supply unit, Phillips screwdriver, and familiarity with using hand tools and basic safety constructs. Some safety concerns are make sure the power cord is disconnected, sharp edges on computer cases can cut you, do not disassemble a power supply unit, it can shock you or cause a fire. You've got additional safety concerns usually listed with the manufacturer's instruction set. And really, detailed safety instructions are beyond the scope of this video. So let's get started. Power supplies are rated in watts. A watt is a unit of power as defined by the formula volts times amps. A volt is an electrical unit that measures the amount of force or push used to move electrons. An amp is a unit that measures the amount of electricity. I believe one amp equals about 6.25 billion billion electrons. This is a 500 watts power supply. Many hardware experts recommend 500 watts as a minimum for your computer. If a power supply fails slowly, the common symptoms are intermittent problems such as a computer runs for an hour and then dies or a computer requires several boots to keep on running or to start up. Buying a larger power supply than needed will not use extra electricity. You will simply get a more expensive power supply that usually runs more efficiently. One word of caution, don't ever disassemble a power supply. It has built-in capacitors that store electricity and you could get a shock or start a fire. If we open up this power supply, one of the first things you'll find is a set of directions. It's always a good idea to read the safety information. I'm not going to do that here. Each power supply will have some safety information and it may be applied for to that particular one. For example, if you live in a 240 volt area and you set your power supply to uh, 115 volts, that, that can cook your power supply. So go ahead and read your safety precautions and directions before starting the job. This is the power cord that hooks up your AC to your power supply, which is DC or direct current. Here's a set of straps. Usually also in here you find you'll see some screws that attach your power supply to your case. And the straps use, are used to route the power supply away from fans and to help with the airflow. Here we've got all your power connectors, so let's take a quick look at them. This is a motherboard connector, it's 24 pin, and you can remove four of the pins for the older 20 pin motherboards. This right here's got six pins and two pins, probably a PCIe. A lot of times they're marked right there so you can actually see what they are and it's PCIe connector give extra power to PCIe uh, components here we have let's pull this clear here we have a SATA power connector for SATA hard drives additional SATA power connector here's another PCIe connector Here's a CPU uh, auxiliary power connector. Now this is 8 pin, but you can pull 4 pins out so that you've got a uh, for the P4 connector for the older motherboards. Also, you've got your Molex connectors which usually connect to your older PETA drives or your CD-ROM drives. And here's the uh, mini connector which connects to your floppy. The next step will be to remove the power supply and actually actually hook it up into your case. 
To install a power supply unit into a computer case, you usually remove the side panel of the case. Different cases will have different methods of removal of the side panel, but in this case it's a simple matter of loosening two straps and removing the side panel. With the side panel removed, you'll put your uh, CPSU, or power supply unit, normally in the top or the bottom of the case. In this case, it's mounted in the bottom of the case, and it'll be mounted in this corner. In installing the PSU into the case, one question that may be confusing is which direction should the fan be pointing? Although I generally point my PSU fan downward for both top mounted and bottom mounted PSUs, that is not necessarily true for all applications. In this case, there's a baffle that blocks part of the fan if the fan is mounted upwards. Also, there is an outside filter that helps keep dirt out of the power unit. Power supplies have an offset screw and in some cases only allow PSUs to be mounted one way. Stall it. Simply place the PSU into the case. Obtain your four screws. and start all four screws. You do not want to tighten any of them up until you have all four started because if you tighten one up the others may not start. So once you have them all started go ahead and tighten the screws up And that's how to install a power supply unit into an empty case. Thank you.